certainly from a, a, a bank perspective, we've put a lot of effort in and a lot of history in, in how we've utilised the data that we have to assist our clients, but also to assist ourselves. Hello and welcome to the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with Deutsche Bank, looking at how the security services business is changing. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Mike Clark, Director of Product Management Security Services at Deutsche Bank. In the final chapter of this video series, we're going to explore how clients can use market data to achieve efficiency and optimization. Mike, thanks again for joining us. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how allowing clients to really control how they receive market data, how that can improve their efficiency within their processes? I'll give you some examples first in terms of where we uh, believe there is, is value. And certainly from a, a, a bank perspective, we've put a lot of effort in and a lot of history in, in how we've utilised the data that we have to assist our clients, but also to assist ourselves on our own internal process. So we've worked with clients in understanding treasury activity end-to-end um, -end from the data we're storing around that activity, the large data sets we have, to really look at how we can help particular clients drive efficiencies in their process by identifying particular trends or insight. Internally, we've used um, our own data tools and data analytics to look at inconsistencies in client reference data or inconsistencies in procurement as to how we're buying services from different providers from different locations. So the value of data can find you efficiency either in a process perspective or in an engagement perspective with how you engage with someone. What we're doing now very much is applying that to the large set of market data we collect as a custodian where we're receiving information obviously from the market itself in terms of market data for distribution as well as information on the day-to-day -day process that we're managing through and really looking at how to apply those sort of analytics tools, graph tools and visualization tools on top of that data to identify similar trends and then also allowing us to better integrate that data. Okay, what kind of analytical tools is Deutsche Bank developing at the moment? So we have analytical tools that are really available as, as data analytical tools from the market. So it's really leveraging those tool sets that we bring in and putting in the data sets that we have from our processes and, and business um, businesses across the bank. So it's, it's looking at those core data sets, be it settlement information, be it information on positions and balances, be it information on P&L centres, and putting that into a, a large, I think the technologists call it a, a data lake of, of, that we sit, and then really looking at how we visualise on top of that. And visualisation is the easy bit. You could put data in and it can show you a nice little visual graph tool of what it is you're seeing. It's the knowledge of what that data is in the market, the knowledge of the data that you process within your own organisation and the knowledge of the client that allows us to be able to draw value from that visualisation. What that will enable you to do is to really then start to see some high level information, some high level trends that once you've targeted those areas, you can then start to look at how do you maybe improve the quality of that data? How do you then target an area of fixing that data that allows you to bring it in, visualize and evolve to move forward? So a roadmap for me is understanding that fitness for purpose we mentioned in a previous session. How good is the data? Where can I see the macro trends? Where can I drill down and focus? And, and the roadmap is one that allows you to evolve rather than getting everything right day one. Okay. And where will Deutsche Bank really be focused on in terms of delivering more value to its clients and security services um, in the coming year? So I think we've, we've got a number of active projects at the moment in the data space. Um, first of those is really around access to data. And so we have a lot of market data, market information, settlement information in our platform. How can we give that information to our clients more effectively rather than relying on different forms of messaging to deliver that? And that's about supplying APIs to our clients to access that data. Initially, that's going to be in the settlement space. 
Secondly, we're working directly with a number of key clients in conjunction with our data, internal data labs, where we're going through use cases again around settlements data and settlement analytics to work with them, allow them to see their data, where their trends and issues are from the visualization we're seeing to allow us to target areas where we may need to improve in our service to them, where they may need to improve in the delivery of information to us, or where they need to have a conversation with their clients or their counterparties about improving their data, which will allow us to improve the process. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. This concludes the four-part masterclass series in association with Deutsche Bank. Thanks for watching.